Hey guys and welcome back to a completion escape video where in this video I've actually gotten 12 hours closer to the completion escape but funny enough to my surprise I'm actually a lot further away than I've been saying I was and I did a whole calculation and I will explain how far I am later on in the video but in this video I did get 12 hours closer to the completion escape. In this first clip I wasn't actually sure if this was a requirement for the completion escape but I thought it was pretty cool to include it anyways. I couldn't see where it was a requirement so I put it in anyways just in case it was and I recorded it and I actually love the animations you know directly you make this cape you get these animations and I thought they were pretty amazing. And in case you don't know where to get these shards from they're pretty much just so you do fishing you will get the fishing shard eventually you know as a maybe like a 1 in 100 chance once you do a bit of skilling and fishing. So once you get every single one and you make each of the capes you will end up using pretty much every single shard and I was actually pretty happy because this is something that I've been waiting for for quite some time because after I've gotten 99 in some skills I haven't been bothered to actually get experience in some skills so this pushed me to get it. Even though I did get about 12 hours closer to the completion escape today Surprisingly, some of these requirements actually took pretty much like minutes. Like for example, for this one, all I had to do was hand in four crystal items to Lady Ithil in Prifthinas, and that was it. She would give me back like a crystal seed or a crystal weapon seed, and she was happy, she's done, that requirement is done. So that took me like five minutes to do, because buying the items, finding out what items it is, and giving them to her, and that was it, you know, completely done. So, sadly, I wish they could all be like this, but... Some of them require research, you have to find out what exactly to do, so that takes hours. So I really underestimated how many hours I actually had left in the completion escape. Like, I was always working out through my mind, and I've finally written it all down, and I am, I've written it down, I am 56 hours away from my completion escape. Like in last episode, I was telling you guys, I'm like, oh, 10 hours away, and I can get that done in about two to three days, and... I really underestimated it, but I'm actually 56 hours away. Now this next requirement actually took me hours to do. Once again, this is a requirement in Prifthinas, and in case you have no idea what you know this is, or what this window is, you have to find the recipes first. Like for example, it took me about 2-3 to three hours to find just these recipes. The potions you can see are the recipes I found, but it took me about 2-3 to three hours to find all of these, and now I've got to buy them. I actually spent 7 million in buying these recipes, and I'm still about four or five million away. So, and and I haven't even unlocked all the recipes yet. I've still got about one, two, three, four, five, six left, or no, seven left, which means that I might have to still do about one to two hours more of Dungeoneering before I actually complete this requirement. So I'm still quite a few hours away, and sadly, it involves so much money. It does get more expensive, as you can see, as you go up through the recipes. Like, first it's 300k, then 500k, then it actually goes up to about 1 million, I think it is, or 1.5 million, I'm not sure exactly. But this is a requirement I'm quite close to finishing now, and you will sit, you know, definitely see that in the next episode. And I've already got my hands in into the new quest. I've heard it's going to take me about 3 to 4 hours to actually complete, and... I would have done this sooner, but I've been quite busy in real life, I've been quite busy with my other channels, and I've been quite busy actually completing other requirements, that I haven't actually had a chance to actually complete these mini quests or sub quests, which meant that I wasn't actually able to post a guide on these quests, which sadly I won't be posting a guide now. It's a bit too late, there's already hundreds of guides out there, there's no point in me posting one or so. So you won't be seeing a guide on that for myself, but you will see me put it into my next completion escape. But thankfully I'm about just two to three hours away of completing that and then I'm completely done with all the quests. It also took me about two to three hours to complete every single requirement for the Varok Museum Kudos points so I now have 198 out of 198 but sadly it took me so long because first of all I couldn't find out what was missing and I had no way to find out and then a friend helped me out and I actually later on found out that I was missing the ghostly robes which meant that I now had to go and talk to all the ghosts around RuneScape, get all my ghostly robe pieces which took me about an hour to get and eventually I did get them all. Some of them took longer than others because you have to get into some safe spots and some of them were quite high up in the wilderness. I did get killed once but pretty much end story is I got all my pieces. It didn't take me that long but it was quite long still about an hour but thankfully that whole requirement is now finished. 
And also surprisingly this week I've spent hours upon hours collecting the Harmony Pillars moss, which meant that I've spent about five to six hours doing Harmony Pillars experience because you've got to collect 50,000 experience before it grows again. So that's taken me quite a long time. As I said already, I'm about 56 hours away because I've still got 20 hours left in the Livid Farm. I've still got to complete the Fight King, which is going to be about 40 minutes to one hour. I've still got to complete those quests, which is going to take me about three hours. I've got to kill the Thalassus 10 times, which I'm guessing it's going to take me about two to three hours. I've got to get the Kadan title, another three hours. So I've still got quite a far way to go. So thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.